Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I need to stop moaning! I am the dog whisperer. Been finding it a little bit tough. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I do not feel fit. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. There's no nice way to say it. I'm not running at the moment. <laughs> I'm on my break at the moment. I am taking two weeks off post Seville. I do think a rest is really, really important after a big goal and a big race, especially, I mean, just physically the marathon, you need to take some time off. So mentally resetting, physically resetting. I am gonna have a conversation with my coach to try and get 12 days rather than two weeks. I'll just pretend that I've already had that conversation that we've agreed. 12 days of no running. <laughs> We're on day four of subscribed, subscribed? Day four of prescribed rest. I've got to the point now where I actually really miss running. It's such a huge part of my routine. It's my stress release. It's where I spend most of my energy. Obviously I work as well. And usually I'm running around like a headless chicken trying to fit all my training in and when I don't have that, my routine just sort of melts into a bit of a puddle. I'm looking forward to the rest of this rest and recovery period, but I know, I know for a fact that next week I'm going to be itching to run. So let's see what happens. See how crazy I go. So I put an Instagram questions thing up on my story today to ask what to do with my extra free time. I included options on there. Absolute landslide victory for baking a cake. I have since realized that our kitchen is in no fit state for baking. I have done a little bit of research and found some really nice looking bakeries in Reading that I've not been to before. So I'm gonna head over to one of them that's pretty near me. Yeah, I'm gonna see what they've got and go and buy myself a cake instead. Let's go get some cake. got in here these are cannoli fresh out of the oven and also got some chocolate tarts sprinkled with salt that is far far better than anything I could have baked let's be honest how do I eat this mmm oh my god mmm right I'll see you next time I'm bored. All right, I am absolutely bloody itching to get outside. My legs don't hurt anymore. It's a lovely day outside. The sky is blue. I'm on my lunch break now. And on a Friday, that's usually when I would get out the door and run. So I'm distracting myself by editing instead. I'm editing some of the footage that I got yesterday for the week after next video, which is all about me resting and not running and Basically, this is day two, so let's get cracking. Good morning. It is Saturday today, day six of no running, resting up, and I'm going to get my hair cut today. Haven't had my hair cut for two and a half years, so it is quite in the need of a chop. Suitcase still hasn't turned up, so it's day six of no running and day six of no suitcase really starting to worry that it's just not going to turn up but yeah I'll try and capture a little bit more of my day today take you along to my haircut and yeah see what the afternoon holds ta-da fresh haircut smells so so good it feels lovely and it feels really soft but um I don't know, maybe it's just because I've got curly hair that I just... <laughs> okay, hair is in a ponytail, where it belongs, basically. And I've decided that for the rest of the day, I'm gonna tackle this room. It's the room of requirement, basically, and it's really messy. 
I just want to tidy it up and make it a nice place to be in. So much on the line in this race. Athletics, tidying, what more stuff. could you need? Okay, progress report. Um, it, it's, it's late, it's half past 10 and probably got most of the way done with this room, so. Um, the bookcase has been colour coded. The desks are all clean. Hi. Say hello. No, no, no. Tomorrow I'm going to sort out this area, put some stuff on the wall, decide what makes it look nice. So yeah, we'll leave it there for tonight and carry on with the fun tomorrow. It is Sunday, people. Day seven of no running. We are on our way to Trowbridge to see my mum, my stepdad and my nan. They moved there a similar time to we moved to Reading in the summer and we actually haven't seen them since before Christmas. Basically when Covid infections went up towards the end of the year, we just wanted to be really, really careful with the marathon build up and just really limited the amount of people that we saw and the travelling that we did. We didn't see them for Christmas and we haven't given them their Christmas presents yet either. What, is it the 27th of February today? 27th of February, so another belated Christmas. But yeah, just really excited to see them, really excited to be heading down there. We'll take you along for the ride. And the ultimate collab on the way. So we've got ourselves a new plant in the background here. Uh, last time we left with a TV actually, so a bit of a downgrade, but <laughs> um, no, they're always giving us things. Yeah, just a really wholesome, wholesome day. Seeing family that we don't see often enough. And yeah, we'll hit the road, try and stay awake. That's your job. And um, yeah, check in with you soon. Good evening, everyone. It marks a week since I've been home from Seville and I am itching to run. I've been getting quite easily frustrated, not overwhelmingly and not all the time, um, but I felt it today. Just little things that would annoy me, sitting in traffic, something not going to plan, burning some food, just little things like that. and it shouldn't bother me as much as it does or provoke as much of a reaction. I'm not exploding and getting really, really angry, but um, I can just tell that I'm easier to irritate and that's 100% down to me not being running and not training. These periods of rest, I enjoy them and I enjoy resetting, but once I get past the halfway point, you know, even if it's just a few days, I really do appreciate running so much more. In terms of today, what I got up to, I met up with one of my closest friends who I've been friends with for years and actually who I started running with um, when I first joined like the after school club at secondary school. So it's really nice to catch up with her, went and had a coffee at Gail's and a cookie and then yeah I went to Daniel's parents and had lunch over there and pretty chill day. I also bought <laughs> an entire new stash of makeup because I don't have any makeup. All of my makeup is in my suitcase, which is probably lost or somewhere in Spain or in a pile of hundreds of suitcases in Heathrow. But I've also sort of been putting that into perspective with everything that's been happening in Ukraine. I think it's just reminded me to put my problems and things that I moan about into perspective. 
I didn't want today's check-in to be this sort of somber or down, but that's how it is sometimes. Been finding it a little bit tough with what's happening in the news and again, like, you know, the way that I normally deal with everything is just to get out the door and have some headspace and run and that's my place to do a lot of things. Stress release, think of ideas, just have my little space to do nothing else but run. So yeah, appreciating that I'll have that back in a few days time and focusing on the things that I can control. It is day nine of no running and we're not even gonna talk about a suitcase. Just to get my MOT done and I'm gonna wait for it to get checked and popped over the road just to do a bit of window shopping. I say window shopping though, uh, just walked past it. They've got a TK Maxx over here. I'm incapable of walking out of that store without buying anything. So, see how we go. Oh my God. Um, I've just left TK Maxx empty handed, which is an achievement, but also the reason I left isn't because I didn't want to buy anything. It's because I got a phone call from someone who's got my suitcase and they're dropping it off now. So, uh, oh my God, I'm so excited. I, I actually can't believe they found it. So obviously I'm getting my MOT done. He was asking me to confirm my street address. And I said, well, I'm not there at the moment. Are you in Reading now? He said, yes. And I said, can you bring it to me instead? So I'm walking down to B&Q now <laughs> and I'm going to get my suitcase. So he should be about 10 minutes. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm shocked, like just generally shocked that they found it um, and that I got it back. So yay. I am now having a date with my suitcase, call myself a latte and a chocolate tiffin. I'm just going to sit here until the car is ready and just talk about the journey and find out um, how she's been. <laughs> I say it's been a lovely lovely Tuesday I took my car for its MOT which it passed big tick word on Duke my car's name is Duke and then got the amazing phone call that my suitcase had been found and the guy was dropping it off there and then so 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 happy that it's found its way back to me that was just really nice I'm gonna go finish unpacking that now and really just counting down the days until Saturday when I get to start running again felt a little bit better today a lot less antsy I think being reunited with a suitcase definitely helped and has just put me in a banging mood all day. I'm gonna go and drink one of those lovely Spanish cartons of chocolate milk and crack open those olives that I bought in Seville and uh, go and put all of my stinky, stinky washing in the washing machine that's been in carry bags in a suitcase hotboxing for a week. Mmm. But that you're assuming that one has come from skirt, I'm asking from ceiling. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. doing it a few days after we started sorting this room out. I'm off this week so I'm not working so I've been just seeing friends, I went for a couple of coffees today. But yeah, really happy with the work in here. Actually this isn't quite finished yet, we've got a couple of um, pictures that we've got down. Since we moved basically we haven't put many photos or just frames up in the house so I've got this um, vintage sort of old um, print that I want to put up somewhere probably behind us. And then this uh, track and field definition poster print thing from Etsy, which I got recently and I just love this. Those will go behind me somewhere, like just like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to using this backdrop in some of my videos. Also just having a nicer thing behind me when I'm at work and on meetings rather than piles of books and things. So I will check in with you tomorrow. 
All right, it has been a day today. Just one of those, one of those days where the world is against you. I feel like I'm being unproductive, and I think part of that stems from the fact that I'm not running. I think that's partly why I'm getting frustrated and just antsy because, like, I feel like I'm being unproductive. I'm probably not, but. Like, if I've got a run to do, for example, and I put it off, I will feel like I've been so unproductive until I get that run done. So when I'm not running, I, I'm i just a bit hard on myself and think, oh, you're being so unproductive, like, just not using this time to get loads and loads of other stuff done. But sometimes it's okay not to be productive and it's okay to have those frustrating days. So I'm acknowledging that and I'm also going to stop whinging and moaning because the pity party is over. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go and move, spin the legs around on the bike, do some abs, and um, yeah, get those positive endorphins flowing. We will call that mission successful. I just, I feel so, so much better already. I just needed to get a bit sweaty, get a bit out of breath. I'm telling you guys, get out there and exercise. Get out there and run, bike, go to the gym, move your body, you'll feel good about it, I, I promise you. I'm gonna go home now, get some good grub down me and look forward to tomorrow being the last day that I have to moan about not running. Oh, right. I've got my uh, cheese on toast with ketchup. I always have ketchup with cheese on toast. I'm just gonna chow down on this and then get ready for my bike ride. Does anyone else just not take their coat off when they get in sometimes? I'm not cold, but... Mm. 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 I am a fair weather cyclist, so I... I don't really have winter, wet, cold weather cycling gear, so I'm improvising with running kit. So I'm gonna go for this as an underlayer. Cycling short sleeve summer jersey over the top jacket. And then I've actually got some pretty decent gloves. Let's go for a ride. This, what a beauty. Okie dokie, thought I'd wait till I got out of the main part of Reading to attempt a little bit of filming on the bike and I am just hitting up the lanes now, going slowly as I go down here. Got a 20 mile loop on my watch, it's actually pretty dry out so it should be good. just hit 1A1. I do not feel fit. <laughs> As if I ran a marathon two weeks ago. And Jesus. Just get my breath back. <sighs> right. Nearly home. It's been a lovely ride. I've stayed dry. Got the blood pumping. Got the legs moving. Didn't fall off, which is also always good. I used to get really nervous. Um, cycling clipped in but felt pretty confident today so yeah really pleased with that enjoyable it's been a good ride but tomorrow we run yes <laughs> nice 
Ah, just so lovely to be back at it. It is a cold, wet, windy, drizzly, grey day and there is honestly nothing I'd rather be doing. Run as high as back. Looking forward to getting fit now and just carrying on with making these videos. Here's some more running content, I guess. It's a good day to have a good time. Is this enough energy? Is this enough energy for you? Right, let's get on the road.